guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today we're gonna talk student planner. Now my son is going into what would be middle school if he went to public school. He's technically a sixth grader. And I remember when I started middle school, I was super pumped because that was the first year that they gave us an agenda. And I was able to write down when things were due and when I had tests and what my homework was. And we also used it for hall passes. but. I thought we were big time because we had an agenda. And so I thought, hey, that's a good way to foster some independence, which is what I'm looking for this year. Um, foster some independence in him and give him somewhere to keep his stuff. So let's talk student planners. We're gonna talk about it and then I'm gonna show you a flip through of it at the end of this video. All right, so I used a cover from the One Stop Planner Shop life planner club so if you watched my last video i shared my planner and i actually went and used a cover in the i think it's just the stripes is what the section's called i actually used the stripe covers um, to make my son a planner and i just took it and made it personalized for him so it says middle school the best years of my life and then the back just has um, the date and property of and he goes by d3 on his YouTube channel, so I put that on there. So that's what it is. I used what she had and laminated and did the binding myself, and now I wanna show you what is on the inside, and this is very customizable for my son, and you could do the same thing. All the things that I have in here are things that you can go and purchase and make the same type of agenda or planner for your child. It doesn't necessarily have to be for a boy. I picked the boy covers, the One Stop Planner Shop Club has a ton of covers. So if you have a daughter, you can find something that would work for them or you could even make your own. But let's get into what it looks like inside of my son's student planner. All right guys, let me show you what's inside of my son's student planner for the 2020-2021 school year. So again, he's in middle school and I wanna show you what we're using for his independent work. So the first thing, and I'm sorry to turn it that way, the first thing I included was a copy of our year at a glance so that he can see exactly when he's gonna get off, exactly what units we're doing. He's got his year at a glance at the beginning. And this was from printacalendar.com, totally free. I also found this for free. I love to do these at the beginning of the year. I do one at the beginning and I do the same one at the end so I can see how his likes have changed over the year's time. So this is all about me, 50 getting to know you questions. It's from the Imagination Box and it was free on Pinterest. And it's a front and back. It's a bunch of questions. Now, let me show you this. I loved this. I usually make him a checklist, but I found this one. Someone had shared it on Instagram. It's from Anna Vance Paper Co. It's one of her downloadable um, pages that you can get, and I didn't pay very much for it. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I didn't pay very much for it, and I love it, and it's gonna work perfect. So there is a place to put your student's name. There's the daily schedule with the days of the week, a daily tracker, and then you have all these empty boxes right here. And so what I'm going to do is at the beginning of the week or maybe at each day, I don't know if I'm gonna take it by week or by day, I'm going to write in what my son needs to do independently. That's gonna be his teaching textbooks, that's going to be his cursive work from Gather Round Homeschool, and it's also going to be some Total Twins work um, after we've read the story, and I'll show you that also. So that's what will be written in here his chores, he knows he has daily chores, that will be on this side, along with his, um, he needs to read to himself. I want him to read a chapter a day from a Who Was book, and so that will be listed here, and then if we come up with anything else, maybe physical activity, something like that, those can go here. What I loved about these blank sections is you could do whatever you want to do with it. What I plan on doing is on Fridays, I want him to fill that up with things he learned this week. He can draw pictures here, or he can write, whatever he wants to do. I want him to share with me what stuck out with him. Like, what, what did he learn this week? What does he want to share with me? He can put it here. He can write what he's grateful for. It's really just a way to reflect on his week. That's how we're going to use it. Of course, you can use it any way you want to, but that's how we're going to use it. 
So he has enough of these in here for the entire year. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it back around. And then you're gonna see here, This here's the one for the end of the year. But when you get the One Stop Planner Shop Club and you download the front cover and back cover, it comes with divider pages, and this is one of them. So of course it had the month right here, and I just changed it to teaching textbooks because he can. what he's gonna be able to do is look at his In Advance Paper Co. weekly layout, see what he needs to do, and then everything he needs is gonna be right here minus his cursive book because it's a separate book. So here's teaching textbooks, and what he's gonna use for that is this grid paper. Now this was free, it's from papertraildesign.com. It's the half inch grid paper. He has a really hard time lining his things up when he's writing his math problems and that causes him to make mistakes. And using grid paper with him has worked really well for math. And so I just printed him off a bunch of sheets to use if he needs them for teaching textbooks. So that's in there. Another thing we're using is the Tuttle Twins books. We bought those, and if you don't know, they come with these great workbooks. They come as PDFs. Each book has their own workbook. And so what I did is I went through and I picked two pages from each book because I don't really want him to do the entire workbook. So I printed two pages from each book. So he's got a word search here, a Mad Lib, and then I printed the group discussion questions so that I can talk to him about the book as we're reading it or when we're finished. And so that's what you'll find at the back of his planner. So there you have it guys. That's my son's middle school planner slash agenda. Um, I'll link the One Stop Planner Shop down below. So if you wanna check that out, you can do that. I will also link the uh, printout from Anne Advance Paper Co. and I will link the Tuttle Twins information if you're interested in it. So that's what he's using this year. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you so much for watching.